Welcome to the series on IT fundamentals. You must have heard that computers work on zeros and ones. But have you ever wondered how using just two numbers we can carry out so much of complex data and information management? Stay with me to understand basic building blocks of programming in this video. Assume that there are two friends in two buildings. After initial communication over voice, now they are supposed to exchange messages using only torch flashing through a window and no other medium. So what should they do to send 1010101010? It is simple. The torch flash on can mean 1 and off can mean 0. Now tell me what they should do if they want to send 11110000. The moment they switch off the torch would mean 0. So the time parameter will play important role here. For example, during initial discussion, they may decide data transfer rate of one binary digit or bit per second. Now, if they switch on the light for four seconds, it will mean four times one being transmitted. Okay, now let us assume that there was a communication gap and the first person was trying to send one bit per second, but the other person thought the rate was half a second per bit. What will be the result on first data received? The other person will receive 1100011001001100. That is why it is extremely important that both the communicating devices must be set on the same baud rate, meaning data transfer rate. The one here represents high voltage of about 3.5 to 5 volts, and the low voltage that is less than 1.5 volt means zero. Now let us understand what this received data mean. Primarily, there are four types of data used to store information. Numeric, text or characters, Boolean, movies, songs, picture, etc. come under binary data. In this video, we are going to focus on first two data types. Four main types of number systems used for numeric data are decimals, octal, hexadecimal and binary. The decimal number system consists of 10 digits. Let us understand the working of kilometer reading device in a car. It is basically a ring with 10 digits. Such multiple rings work together to form a number. When the car travels, the digits increment from 0 to 9. After that, it has to go back to 0. At this time, adjacent ring is incremented. Every digit has a positional value. To understand octal number system, we can assume the same meter reading scale, but this time having 0 to 7, that is total 8 digits. After 7 kilometers, the meter reading will start showing 1, 0, 10. The number 10 in octal is equal to 8 in decimal. Hexadecimal number system has 16 digits. If we create a hexadecimal scale, then after 9 kilometers, it will show A and after F, it will show 10. The positional value of this 1 is 16. The binary meter scale will have two digits, that is 0 and 1. This is how the computer stores the numeric data in binary form. Let's try this out. Can you find the decimal value of this binary number? To find the value, we can first understand the positional value of every digit and add the non-zero number to arrive at the answer. Now a very basic question. When human brain understands decimal number system and computers deal in binary number system, then what is significance of octal and hexadecimal number systems? If you think it is going to save some memory, then that would be wrong since the number ultimately will be stored in binary. Please remember, computer does not have anything other than 0 and 1. What is the biggest three-digit binary number? It is 1, 1, 1. Octal equivalent of the same is 7, which is the biggest one-digit number in octal number system. Now let us consider this binary number. If I club the three digits together, then I can create a quick equivalent octal number which makes it more readable and then quickly calculate the decimal value of it based on the positional values. Let us see one more example. We have seen how clubbing three binary digits together makes it easy to read in octal. 
What if we club four digits? The biggest four digit binary number is equal to biggest one digit hexadecimal number. So basically hexadecimal number system also makes it easy for programmer to read and write a binary number. Now let's see how to form a character. American standard code for information interchange that is ASCII has given a table which tells us how to read binary data as character. Let's see what happens at the time of reading a binary number in a Python program. Consider a variable i assigned with value 65. If we print this as a number then output window shows number 65. Now if we cast it to character data type and print then we see its ASCII equivalent character that is a. In memory it is actually zeros and ones. So basically it is all in the interpretation where the data type of variable plays an important role in programming. The C language equivalent code will look like this. We have percent %C to print the variable value as character and percent %D to print the variable value as number. So what exactly is there in a variable? When we declare a variable and assign some value, the operating system allocates some memory in RAM and then writes the assigned value in that memory location. Every memory has a unique address and every variable has a data type which indicates the size of memory location to be allocated by operating system. The address of that allocated memory cell is then stored in that variable. Here i and ch are called as variable because their value can vary. That is in a program we can assign a new value and the variable can then point to a new memory location. Now the question here is how does print function know how many bytes of memory chunk should be read. So it is the data type which guides on size of memory chunk to allocate at the time of variable declaration or at the time of reading from memory. Char data type is that of one byte whereas int data type is of two bytes. Assigning bigger data type like int to a smaller data type like char requires casting. The casting means ignore the second byte and read only first byte of memory. Similarly, there are bigger data types like long which indicates four bytes of memory. Let us summarize. In this video we have learned that two electronic devices can communicate when they are synchronized to have same data transfer rate. Octal and hexadecimal number systems improve readability of binary digits for programmers. ASCII chart help in character interpretation of binary. A variable contains the handle to the starting location of memory. The variable type indicates the size of memory. Casting helps in changing the interpretation of data size without changing the handle. In the next video, I am going to explain about interesting secrets of images. Thank you for watching. Please leave your feedback comments. You may subscribe the channel for future updates.